We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an important announcement. Hi, my lovelies. Look what's just arrived in the post. So this is to go along with Fans Toys Recorder, Blaster. They have finally released, I say finally, this is just like a week after I got the other one. They have released his other little cassettes, hooray! So let me zoom out. And let's take you through the unboxing. Ooh, there's no sellotape. My God, we are living in the future. No sellotape. Ooh, so what do we got? <sighs> Book of instructions. And some playing card, collectible card, Pokemon card things. Hooray! <laughs> Let's have a look at the actual meat of this. Ooh, anything else? down there. This is what comes in the box, isn't it lovely? So we have got three little audio cassette boxes and the three little audio cassettes. Ramhorn, Steeljaw, and your name escapes me. You're not Rewind, you're... <sighs> Duh. It's fine. I'll edit this out and make it look like I knew all along. Let's call him Barry for now. And let's get these little guys out and have a shifty at them. And there, there's the sellotape. We're not living in the future. We're living in the present. Oh, no. Let's give this a little slice. A little slice -o. There we go. A little slice. Slice. Ah, oh, can he do it? I'm too stupid. There we go. Love the Come on. Yes. Oh, look at that. So, cassette box. Cassette box. Cassette box. Cassette boxes for cassette boxes. Now, this one's got a little yellow sticker on it. What's that all about? Hmm. I didn't say anything on the inside. Oh well, that one has a sticker, the other one's done. Let's put those there. We have got what looks like a tiny set of guns. Oh, these are taped in as well. Goodness sakes. Honestly, when aliens dig up our civilization in like, I don't know, I won't say a million years, maybe like 10 years, when aliens dig our civilization up, it's just gonna be 90% bloody sellotape and polystyrene. Tiny guns. So these are for Eject. That's his name. He's Eject. Tiny guns for Eject. Let's get these out. Okay. Let's get these. That that's um, the gun is incredibly small. Oh, I don't want to damage it. How how did they get this wrapped like this? It's like, look at the size of that. How did they get this wrapped? Did they have like an elf do it? Slice the end. Maybe we can squeeze it out like a tube of toothpaste. Doo -doo -doo. Come on. Edge come. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's give you a nice close up look at that. So, this is, it looks, certainly looks anyway, absolutely ideal. Identical to the one that came with Rewind. You've got the same little hinge on the handle. And... <laughs> Pop! Comes apart for storage in his legs. Let's pop that down there. Oh, which of these wonderful little toys should we look at first? Piggledy, 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 bow. Which one will we go for? Let's start with Steel Jaw. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? So he feels nice and solid as well. He's weighty. There's metal going on in here. Look at that. 
absolutely bloody lovely. Now, I'm assuming his is the case with the yellow dot. Yellow, he's yellow. That's good enough for me. So let's, let's see if he fits in here. Oh, he does as well. Look at that. work out how to transform this guy. So I've not looked at the instructions. We're going to see if we can puzzle this out from first principles. So I can see little lion feet here. They don't quite want to come out just yet. Okay, what about... What about... Ooh. Is this a lion tail I see before me? The tip pointed towards King Duncan's room. I don't think that is the actual quote from Macbeth, but you know, it's it's something. Up comes the lion tail. Brilliant. I, I call that done. That's perfect. That's as lionish as I've ever seen anything. <laughs> All right. So, he's obviously going to fold out and become his little guns. Ooh, lovely. They're on a nice solid hinge. So that comes out comes out. What else have we got going on in here? So I can see a hingy bit here. Ooh, 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 booyah. So now we can get his little lion feet out. And these are on a double hinge, so I'm guessing that means, rather than folding back down, you should do that and give him a little bit of a little bit of width in his his hindquarters. Basically, we're making him thick. That's what I'm saying to you. I want my thick steel jaw. So this is on a double hinge. So bring that down and bring the wing up. And what I'm hoping. There we go. And then the little wing comes up. Lovely, and he's got his gun. That's a lovely bit of chromed plastic as well. Yeah, it's very smart indeed. So let's do the same thing here. Start bending that down and round. Start bringing his wing up. So the wing kind of has to come out a little bit just to be able to give the gun clearance enough to fold round, or it seems to me anyway. So that's nice, his back half is done, I think. Ah, lovely. So, let's have a goosey gander at what's happening at the front. Ooh. Ooh. out. These look to me like they're going to fold. And they're on a double hinge. So fold down one, fold down two, and they're going to go behind this panel from the look of that. Trying to be gentle with them, um, mostly for the fan toys stuff, fans toys stuff rather. I haven't seen it being particularly delicate or prone to breaking. Ditto with anything from fans hobby. Um, my masterpiece cassettes for Sound Blaster. So I've got Rat Bat, Rumble, Frenzy, Buzzsaw, and Laserbeak. I think. Oh, and Ravage. Two of those are broken. And that was just not even do, not even putting pressure on them, just fragile plastic. So a little bit of Ravage's tail is broken off and one of Laserbeak's wings is also broken. So I don't know, thus far, ooh, there's always a first time, but thus far I've seen the third party stuff just be that little bit more durable. Can 
I pull this back to give myself more clearance, Clarence? Come on. There we go, that's got it. I think it was more than anything just being stiff and me being overcautious. Right, so that's that. I'm gonna bring this front ports down. That's nice. And let's direct our attention back up here. We need to bring his little lion head out. Come on, come on, lion head. Ooh, ooh. And is this going to? Okay, so we've got a tiny notch there, and we've got a little nubbly bit there. So I'm guessing that means if I fold these in a bit, they are going to clip in. Kind of. Come on, clip in. Mustn't crush, mustn't kill. Sorry, I've, I've got to distract myself. Does his mouth, it, his mouth opens. <sighs> that, I think, is about it. I don't quite think I've got his, the top of his uh, main seated properly. You can just see in there. It's, it's just poking out where it shouldn't be. Come on, there we go. One and two. Wow, that is some engineering. That is some lovely, lovely engineering. Right, let's give you a close up tour. One side. Top side, top side of lion, delicious cut. To other side, his booty, which you can shake. His front, isn't that nice? Let's see what he can do. So we've already established his little gulp can open. His head, does it, ooh, it twists. It twists. That's nice. Ooh, it can move down. Can't really look up. That's that's fine. That's fine. I'd be surprised if he could have. When it comes to these bits, he has got. What would that be? It's a front hip, I suppose. Hip, knee, toes, and ditto on his Dexter side. And at the back, we have got, yeah, back hip, stretches out quite a long way. Back knee and back toes. And we can wiggly waggly his tail. That's wonderful. I am so pleased with that. What a beautiful, beautiful little toy. Cool, all right, let me move my sharp back there and there. Yes, yes, we will do well here. All right then, let's have a look at eject. Eject, eject. I don't know, people tell me I have a transatlantic dialect. I don't hear it myself, but that's what happens when you grow up watching American cartoons, you know? You say beta instead of beta, and lieutenant instead of lieutenant, which I've never understood lieutenant. It's like, it's a French word, and the French say lieutenant. So why do we have to be special and say lieutenant? Honestly, bloody Brits. So yeah, there he is at the front. There he is at the back. Nice big space there for an Autobot symbol. I'll have to look up and see where the symbol goes on Steeljaw here. I think it goes on his mane, but I, I don't fully remember. Now, if you watch my previous video, you'll see that I've already transformed. transformed. I've already transformed, rewind. I'm guessing this guy works exactly the same way. Let's open up these chest panels. Come on. Come on. It's a little bit stiff. Fnaf, fnaf. There, that's one side. That's the other. Now we should be able to bring down his legly bobs. And his other legly bob. Thighs, give him a little twist, 
in a little twist. Now bring his feet round, spin up and in. Spin, round, up and in. Now we can have a look see Lou at his arms, which are going to pop out like that and like that. There's his bonks. Snozzle that round. Come on, I know your abdomen extends. There we go. You know what it's like when you get these things out of the box, they're just a little bit too stiff. He will loosen up over time, I've no doubt. Let's bring his fist out. There. And ditto this side. Here's his other fist. There you have a check. Isn't that nice? So let's give you a little tour all the way around. Ooh, that's come out. Go up. Bring you nice and close. Yeah, he's lovely. I love that gloss on the eyes. That metallic blue, very pleasant. And we should be able to give him He's shooting iron. I don't know if anyone else does this, I'm left-handed, so I tend to make my characters left-handed as well. I try to mix it up so it's not all one or the other, but yeah. It's nice to have a few of these be lefties as well. Saf paws, innit? So articulation will be exactly the same as rewinds. He can spin his head all the way round. He can do that, if that's of use to anyone. He'll look down a bit, be like, roar. The arm goes up that far. And spin all the way around. There is no rotation at the elbow. You had that much movement there on the forearm. Ooh, and it's gone nozzle down. You can go back like that so you can break his arms. That's fun. You don't get any waist rotation. That's fine. That's because... Concertinery, James Pond, Robocod type thing going on in there. The hips, Ooh, we can go the back like that, fold himself up like origami. And forward, like that. That's nice, and they stretch out. He can dance the holly jolly, yes. Ah, uh, but can he impersonate Ben Scully? Let's take a moment to talk about these fine armor hot dogs. He can indeed. So yes, that's a jacked. He is really pleasant. Exactly the same as the other guy. So yeah, no complaints there at all. Let's stand him up there. And now we come to the last entry. Ramhorn. So we can get rid of this plastic now. <coughs> Excuse me. Small amount of hay fever. Right. Yes, this is ram horn. One side, t'other side, top side, bottom side, boop. Front, back. Oh, he's very nice. All right, so would we go about transforming him? So I can see little rhino hooves. Little rhino hooves. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, these tiny little guns that fold out. It's adorable. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, so now we can bring down his little rhino ooves. Front and back as well. Back as well. Now I can see a couple of flaps here. Let's try opening these. Ooh, they do not want to open. 
Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. What about the front here? This feels like, ah, uh, this does indeed open. That does indeed open. Right. Now what to, okay, let's try and get his guns a little bit out of the way. So I think this is gonna be like steel jaw. These are gonna come out. Are oh, you on a double hinge? Yes, you are on a double, there's a tiny double hinge right in there. So I assume this is to give him a little bit more meatiness. Come on, out you come, that's it. That's it, try not to wreck these guns while I'm here. There, so that's one side. And let's do the same thing here. There, so that just broadens out his front a little bit from the look of that. What we got at the top? A rhino tail, isn't that lovely? see his rhino head. So how do we get you out? Oops. See, I could grasp him by this. That's his jaw, but that looks like it's on a hinge and I don't want to mess it up. Didn't want to damage it. Come on. Very interesting. Oops. Oh no, I've collapsed it. It's all right, we'll edit this out, it'll be fine. Edit it all out, no one will know. Okay. So that's good. I feel like he needs more length. Maybe. Maybe that's what these panels are about. Perhaps if I get his head up and out, it will make other things more clear. Ooh. That's nice. And that head moves, oh my word. <laughs> right, he definitely needs to be longer. Definitely, definitely needs to be longer. The question is, ow. All right, so. Let's get in here. Ah, oh, no, I definitely feel like I'm gonna break it if I do that. Nope, there's nothing else for it. I'm gonna have to look at the instructions. Oh, this is a dark day for the Empire. Maybe it's like less dark day if I hadn't lobbed them all the way over here. Oh, God, that's my physical comedy. All right. <laughs> Congratulations on purchasing the little giant cassette trio. Please read these instructions carefully and they'll give you years of trouble-free Decepticon hunting. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, so they're going the other way. They are going the other way. Wait, what? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. a little piece I missed. But now I know of thanks to the instructions. There's a tiny little panel in there to fill in his back. Not nice. Let's see if I can get to it. Should have done this before I folded his head up and out. Let's put his head back. There. In a tiny panel. <laughs> That's lovely. Honestly, the engineering that goes into these things. There we are. I would have you down a little bit, I think. Rhino head back up. Yeah. And ourselves a bit of a race condition, aren't we? Okay, no, that's got it. That's got it. So... Oh, okay, yep, yeah, there's a little notch. Little slot, slot, notch, notch, slot. Slot, slot, notch. That goes in to... There. Aww. It's just delightful. Simply delightful. Alright. What is going on with these back parts? I mean, unless that's it, unless I've done it. Stay. Let me consult the instructions once more. I'm looking at this here. And they have got a clear... So those panels are farther back than those little ridges, which mine aren't. And there's a little bit of clearance between them. Oh dear. All right. Alright, we've got it. And I'm not going to pretend I'm smart enough to have worked that out. I had to watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> These panels don't fold out. They kind of go backwards. You see right there? That's the joint and that's the direction it had to travel in. So they started like that. And they need to come kind of out and backwards. And it's really, really difficult. So... Here's my little pair of tweezers, my tool. Got in the top there and just went. And that's got them out a little bit. <sighs> now it can do that and that. See, now they open up properly. <laughs> Oh, that's madness. That's absolute madness. Oh, dear. Outrageous, I should say, rather. <laughs> All right, so that. Bring out his little tail. And that's Ramhorn. Oh, that was a mission, wasn't it? Goodness me, let's fold his guns out properly. Gun, lovely. So yeah, there he is in his rhino form. <sighs> I have no idea how rhinos go, I assume it's like that. I see no reason to check. So yeah, it's a nice little touch. You get this fold-out panel to fill some of that gap in, that's nice. 
Um, yeah, this hip area is weird. It wouldn't have been so bad if the instructions had made any of that clear. I mean, yeah, I was never going to get that from those instructions. Never in a hundred years. I'd have just carried on prying it there and probably ended up breaking it. So what can we do with him? So we can move his neck up and down. He can... His head also moves independently of his neck. Oh, it's on... Can't quite go all the way around. It can do that. And it can do that. And we've got a little mouth. Tiny mouth. Come on. There we go. <laughs> his tiny mouth is now open. And his tiny mouth is closed. We have got joints there at the knees. The joints at the twos. It's a lot stiffer than the other ones were. Hips, knees, toes. Can I get these hips to work? No, I can't. Okay, so those hips are static. He's got his nice little guns on the side. Whew, all right, yeah, that was a mission. Once I knew that was how that had to be done, that's not so bad, but yeah, that was, <laughs> that was something else. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of broken little ram horns out there. There are going to be a lot of them. Nice. Let's bring them all together for a little group shot. Isn't that lovely? And here we have the whole family. So, these guys are Keith's Fantasy Club. So that's Slam Dance. Steeljaw, Ramhorn, Eject, Rewind, and the Keeper, Blaster. That's really, really nice. I am pleased with that. Yeah, Ramhorn's little weirdness aside, those are some beautiful figures. I'm really, really pleased with that. They're nice and heavy, they're solid, there's die cast. Yeah, I say the only thing that I wasn't able to puzzle out was Ramhorn's butt, essentially. <laughs> And I've been able to work out the train bots, you know, it's MPG. I can work those out, you know, with a little bit of time and effort. I was never going to do that, not in a hundred years. Nice. Well, that's all for these guys. Any questions? Any thoughts? Drop me a note down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Sorry. 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 Sorry.